que tu m'entends et oh et oh <rire> We are in Melbourne, the weather is pretty okay We are arriving right now at the famous Melbourne Museum, one of the most famous spots right here in, uh, in Melbourne. And we got a few people coming up. What's up, guys? Hi, I'm Caleb, Corey, and we're here in Melbourne. Um, we're currently sitting at Melbourne Museum. We've got Flo here, ready to talk to us about a little bit of um, Melbourne's background and the skate scene and how it's currently evolving. Well, Melbourne Museum. What more could you want? You've got ledges for days, man. You got the gaps. Shane O'Neill, bro, fucking so many pros have come here, man, and done some gnarly shit down those gaps, bro. Awesome manual pads and stuff, man. And unfortunately, um, a lot of the ledges are now skater hated. It never used to be that way. Um, I've seen some pretty gnarly footage, man, of Melbourne skaters just coming here and tearing it up. How safe is it? Here in Melbourne? Yeah. Um, at this spot, I'd say you're pretty good. I mean, I. Besides that incident with the lady trying to just <laughs> yeah. pinch my wallet oh, right yeah, now, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, other than that, dude, I've never had any problems yet. Yeah. I've never had any problems either, like skating around. Everyone's all pretty chill. Everyone always, always talks to you, always gets along great. And just catching up with everyone has been so good. You know, I've been getting back into the scene, so I've really enjoyed hitting the demo and meeting some new people. And I can't wait to catch up with them and go How skating have you guys more. been uh, skating? So I've been skating probably for about, give or take, 14 years. Um, more mostly outside of Melbourne, yeah, but very recently venturing more into the city side of skating because, man, as as the generations are getting older, man, these little kids, even up to the adults these days, bro, are just, just absolutely ripping it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've been skating for about 17 years. I'm from New Zealand, grew up in Gisborne, New Zealand. They've just got a new park made. It's absolutely amazing. I really want to go back, but I want to get better. I've been here since uh, 2010, so that's 13 years, and I, I love it here. Like, this place is great. It's got such good community for everything really um i've just seen so much good people down around here and skating i work in this area and everyone's always stopping and saying hello and stuff so there's just great great people around here talking about the community man um just prior to us coming here we actually skated at riverside skate park a very popular skate park in the middle of melbourne we got to watch some awesome skateboarding there today nick baserio i think that's how you pronounce it fuck i could be wrong my bad but um he was down there man just absolutely tearing the park up and they're like some local legends up there you you know what I mean? So they're always friendly. So the locals, no matter how gnarly they are down here, man, are freaking kind, dude. They're some some kind, kind yeah. people, yeah. Doesn't matter how good you are, they it's all about the skate. You know yeah, dude, I mean? it's, it's all, all about, about the skating. The vibe, skating is, uh, I feel like it's a lifestyle. It's not just a sport, you know? I love skating for that reason. Just meet so much more people. If you're also down in Melbourne, check out the library, man. State library, awesome stair sets. Dope as hell, um, war ride there. Lincoln, dude, Lincoln University. Oh, dude, so Lincoln Square used to be an awesome spot here in Melbourne, yeah? And they demoed it, didn't they? Yeah, they got rid of it, man. So like, I never personally got to skate there. It's legendary I as did. hell, man. I, I got to skate at the stairs before they demoed them. So Damn, dude. Yeah, I got like a varial hill and things down there. So that was a mad spot, bro. There was always people down there. Every time I went there, any time of the day, there was always people there. So that was a great, great place to be in yeah, skate. Dude. With Lincoln skate Square, down. if you get a chance, man, look up the history on that place. Absolutely incredible. Yeah, I didn't get to skate it. I wish I did, man. But um, I really wish that they did something to um, recreate that spot, man. That'd be really cool by the Melbourne. Yeah, community. yeah, there was you know known I mean? by pretty much every skater in Melbourne. Amazing, Everyone that man. I met, they all knew Lincoln. You yeah. know? And now now Lincoln University, which is even better. Yeah, So yeah. I'll, I'll check really out that Melbourne yeah. University, man. University Square, again, massive long ledges. Really gnarly to go there. Good fun, good skaters, man. And, that's about it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks so much, guys. Ah, awesome, awesome, bro. Thank Thanks you. For coming. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Flavor Legend. Legend. Yeah. Yeah. was the, what was it, river slide skate park. This is my Lamborghini for the day. 
Italian style and we're going to the Melbourne Museum. Salut à tous, on parle tous les deux français, but we're gonna be lazy and we're gonna do it in English because he speaks English pretty good for a French from Montpellier. And so it's gonna be easier for me for the um, for the edit. What's up, man? What's your name? What you doing in Melbourne? And yeah, what is the difference between the same, the skate scene in here and in France? So my name is Audrey Fernandez, aka Audi. <laughs> I'm 25, I'm from Montpellier, south of France. I live in Melbourne since 2020. Yeah, just enjoying my time over here. Work in a bakery now. Been working two years in a French crepe restaurant, making crepes. You're bringing the good stuff to yeah, Australia. Yeah, yeah, we try, we try. Nice. Good and fun, uh, Good fun. So how long have you been skating and, and do you think it's easy to um, be part of the scene right here? So I started skating when I was like something like 11 with Pierre Bonafé and Roland Masson. Shout out to the boys. Yeah, starting in a small town. Always had a skateboard in my garage and one day I wanted to try with because I played a video game. That Tony was pretty Hulk? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And then yeah, keep skating and keep learning stuff and yeah, good fun. Now we have the Melbourne Museum, which is a very iconic spot. You get like back in the day you used to have like all those ledges over there without skate stop, but now everything's capped, so it sucks. Sometimes you get like some flat bars and some ledges and manual pad but usually it doesn't stay that long. Is it more local people skating here or you have like a lot of foreigners like you? Would so you in general in Melbourne you get a lot of people from overseas like I swear when I arrived I knew more people from overseas than proper Australian skaters but after a while you get used to and meet new people again and again. Like the skateboarding scene in Melbourne is pretty big but at the same time like everybody knows each other so it's big but small at the same time. So whenever you go, wherever you go, you're gonna meet new skater and you're gonna have fun with them. Amazing. Yeah, and uh, so pretty open-minded. There's like some skate stoppers and stuff, but is it fine with security to skate here? Um, yeah, 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 it's pretty cares? chill. No, not really, as soon as you don't, like you can try to like pull off some skate stoppers. Like, if you try, if you really try hard, you probably yeah. can yeah. take it off. You hey. see that Melbourne police we got here on the video? So <laughs> if you're looking for who's responsible, you got the guy right here. No, 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 uh, would no you say it's a trouble. safe safe place right here? Is it yeah. better than in France? Is it better than in Frankfurt, big of Matzi? Completely different vibe. Like you can skate, like for example, we we're at Riverside before City Park. And you can put your phone on top of the ledge skating for three hours and your phone will still be here. Like you don't have to worry about it at all compared to back home, even on my local I remember, like you have to keep an eye on your back every time. Yeah, no, you just can chill. And I hope I will go home with my camera tonight. Yeah, I hope so. Thanks. Hopefully. Let's get it. So now we're going to Uni Square, like a marble place with a lot of ledges. Yep, it's gonna be fun. Comment ça s'appelle? No Peace Plaza. No Peace Plaza? Yeah, oh, Uni Square. Uni Square. I'm Robert. Uh, I've been working here since two uh, since like 2020, maybe even like two a couple of years. Um, the store itself's been open since 2004. Uh, independently run skate shop in Fitzroy, which is pretty cool. Um, the store itself stocks a lot of small brands, a lot of niche brands, as opposed to some bigger companies. Uh, so there's a lot of Australian run stuff, some smaller Australian run stuff, which yeah. is pretty cool. It's mainly with like a small team of people, like one or two people, as opposed to having like a like a massive team with like one or two people kind of reaching out uh, to distributors like there's a few in Australia uh, project distribution um, PD distribution uh, it's a bunch of them yeah so we have a lot of small brands and big brands uh, a lot of inter like American stuff like 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 crooked a lot of deluxe stuff real uh, we also got a quasi weekend we also have a lot of smaller stuff like there's a uh, we have our own Henley shop boards, uh, Pearl skateboards up there, which is a Melbourne company. Uh, Spin Effect skateboards, a brand from 
uh, like an indigenous company from Australia, which is pretty cool. Uh, Rosalind, we've got Passport, which is an Australian company from Sydney. Oh, yeah, yeah, I heard of that. Too. Yeah, yeah, nice. so we have, a, we have a bunch of smaller brands like mm -hmm. that as well. Uh, a lot of brands in some other places don't stock too. It's kind of have a little bit of a niche oh. market, yeah. What would you say about uh, for someone outside of the skate scene right here? How is the how's the scene over here? Is there like a lot of people skating? Do you think it's a big, major scene in Australia? Yeah, it's a pretty massive scene. Uh, it's growing a lot as well, I suppose, especially with the popularity of the Olympics. Uh, a lot of people coming in wanting to get into skating. A lot of kids coming in buying skateboards. Yeah, wanting to get into it. Even still, like even the people who have been skating for a very long time in Australia, it's definitely definitely growing a lot. It's definitely a pretty prominent scene around the world, I think. I think people kind of, it does stand out to a lot of people, which is cool. What's yeah. your favorite uh, skate spot? My favorite skate spot? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, Melbourne Museum's fun. A lot of they got lots going on there. No business fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one. Yeah, Wet yeah. Lincoln's pretty fun. That was, yeah, it's nice. Is it cool with the security over here? Or yeah, security. You yeah, you get get kicked out, but it's pretty chill. It's not like somewhere like America where you're gonna get fined to skate or something. It's relatively chill. Safety is good as well. I wouldn't. I don't. I don't know anyone who's ever had their stuff stolen at the skate spot or anything like that. I know people have had break-ins in their cars and houses, but not. Not um, at the skate spot. I think the streets are pretty safe here. There's a lot of international people. Yeah, yeah. Surprisingly, a lot of uh, pretty random pros coming in and out, which is pretty funny. Like Ishob was here recently. Uh, Thiago Lemos was here. Uh, Ty Sean, yeah. Ty oh, Sean wow. was here. Tyson, yeah, yeah. yeah Ty Sean was here. And there's quite a few big names that came out of Melbourne, right? Yeah, like what Shane O'Neill. Yeah. So like uh, Lewis Monell? Yeah, yeah, Lewis Monell. Yeah, he was from here. He grew up in like Pran, I think. Riley Pavey, Rowan Davis and stuff. Yeah, we're growing a lot. Business is doing really well. Business is doing well? Yeah, surprisingly. Yeah, it's doing really, really, really good. The, like online shops and everything sometimes. Yeah. No, after COVID especially, it's kind of like booming again, which is good. Yeah. Still pretty good. Cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's okay. Thank you. That's the wrap, Melbourne. I mean, that's not a wrap. That's a sandwich. Okay, I'm out. But uh, yeah, drink of coffee and let's go to bed. It was real. Thank you so much, Melbourne, for tuning in. And we we'll see you next time.